Hey everyone, welcome to the Two Curls on Oil podcast. I'm your host, Andrew the Tech Guy. Each of our podcasts focus on our love for essential oils and living a wellness lifestyle. Geography is not going to keep us apart. And we've got Hillary the Mama Bear in Northern Virginia. And we have Laura the Doc here in West Texas. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's dive right in. Feel free to chat questions to us, uh, comments, and we'll try to get to as many as we can. The energy is super high this month already. This is like doTERRA Christmas came early for us and we have so much to share. So, but first we're gonna try something new. We're going to uh, do our daily protocol of frankincense and copaiba under our tongue all together. So if you have these two oils, we hope you guys will join right along. So I have mine already pre-mixed. Yep. So. Okay. Here's my copaiba. Here we go. And my Frank. Bye bye. Frank and Co. We got it. Cheers, Cheers, my dears. Down the hatch. Clink, 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 clink. (laughs) (laughs) That's how we roll. It is how we roll. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys for joining in. So, our first segment tonight is all about fall diffuser blends. So, Hillary, let's kick us off. And what has your favorite diffuser blend been this month so far and why? Thank you, Andrew. Well, fall is here. The weather is crisp, and that means it is time to switch it up with some new diffuser jams. And my classic favorite is American Pie, and it's Equal Drops Citrus Bliss, which is lovely, and Douglas Fir, also lovely, and Cinnamon Bark, equally lovely. And uh, the Douglas fir, if you're not familiar with it, it has almost an apple-like aroma. Mm -hmm. And then the vanilla in the citrus bliss is like a pie crust. And then the cinnamon just gives it an incredible fall spice. So not only does this combination smell amazing, but these oils have incredible emotional support properties for you to reap during uh, the day. So citrus bliss is the oil of creativity and it supports feelings of childlike creativity, motivation, uh, confident expression, and spontaneity. And Douglas fir is the oil of generational wisdom and uh, supports feelings of healing, respect for our elders, and those that who have maybe experienced these live transitions that we are experiencing um, before Mm. us, and we can learn from them. And then lastly, cinnamon bark is my fall jam for cooking, for baking, for adding to my tea, and of course for diffusing in this blend. And cinnamon is the oil of intimate harmony, so it is great for supporting healthy body acceptance, which we all need more of. Mm -hmm. And um, it is also great for um, just projecting that onto our children as well. And as the mama bear, that's something that I, that's really important to me when I talk to my oilers about confidence and self-esteem and self care and the way that we speak to our children, the way that we um, think about ourselves and that is projected onto our kids. So that's something that's really important. Uh, It also smells super duper cozy. So uh, come on down to Virginia where you can enjoy lots of that. Um, Laura, what about you? What is in your diffuser these days? Oh, thanks Hills. Yes, fall is in the air. And I know my Oilers are super excited about getting some non-toxic options to make their house smell great. And my favorite diffuser blend this time of year is a spice blend. And it's equal drops of our wild orange. You guys can see that okay here. Clove. Got to put some spice in our spice blend. Yes. Ginger. Give us all the spices. And Frank, of course, right? We love Frank. Put Frank in everything. Frank is awesome. And wild orange is the oil of abundance. It supports feelings of joy and creativity and play. Clove is the oil of boundaries. I often refer to this oil as the just say no oil. It really helps us let go of that victim mentality to move into feelings of empowerment and bring courage into our life. This is a really great oil if you're working on healthy boundaries or if you're around emotional vampires. (laughs) <laughs> this is your oil, right? Yeah. Stay away no from us. <laughs> no to the no. Stay away. <laughs> and ginger is the oil of empowerment, and it helps to promote feelings of purpose and encourages you to be fully present in life and show up and participate. And Frank, we all love Frank. He's the oil of truth. 
And it invites <clears throat> us to let go of those lower vibrations, lies, deception, negativity. Mm-hmm. So this is a really powerful blend to promote abundance, healthy boundaries, good vibes all around because the two curls on oil podcast, our tribe is a good vibes only tribe. Right. <laughs> Yes. And this is also a great blend to promote boosting your immune system this time of year as we go into the change in seasons and a lot of people can feel be feeling under the weather. So if you want to switch it up from your regular on guard, this would be one to try. Switch it up. What about you? And Danielle is saying that she's loving all these, uh, these blends that sound amazing. So Danielle, you'll have to try them out and let us know. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Please tag us. So I have actually been putting a spin on a fall blend that Allie, my wife, absolutely loves um she loves to do wild orange and cassia together it it is a a really Mm. sweet kind of just fall smelling blend and uh i took it and then added our new siberian fur oil to it so Mm. it really makes it smell like you're you're walking through a forest during the fall and uh we we use it and love it when we're just relaxing around the house so cassia, um, I think, is the reason that we love this one so much because it's the oil of self-assurance. So uh, helping you feel courageous and assured and unashamed and confident. So just helping us be able to um, just encourage ourselves and each other as we're walking through maybe difficult times with work or anything else. So just an incredible way to support ourselves. And so for our next segment, this actually involves a lot of our new oils and our promos. So we, I hear we actually broke the internet again last week. <laughs> so ladies, tell me what's happening in the doTERRA promo land. Holy moly. Thank you, doTERRA. The gods of doTERRA, <laughs> thank you for delivering us this amazingness. It is so awesome. Um, so doTERRA launched the post-convention kits And this is just so incredible because no matter where you live, regardless if you could attend a post-convention event or not, you can snag two of these per account, which is so incredible because especially if you have other oiler friends who maybe aren't going to be getting theirs, you Mm -hmm. might work with them and be able to get more. Mm -hmm. But it's $127 savings versus just buying all the oils individually. So even if you were going to just buy all the oils eventually, this is such a great way for you to save money. It's just, it's amazing. And the kits contain Mm -hmm. all the oils that we talked about last month in our post convention wrap up and it's it's going to be amazing for you and we don't know how long they're going to last that's the other little tricky thing here so Mm -hmm. it's been a little bit of a slurry and crazy because we just don't know and we 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 want you to get those so if that's something that you want to get i would recommend that you get them sooner than later because they might not be around for the entire month we just don't know but you want to get yours and um all the all the um all the great oils in there are just they're just going to change your, your game. They are so wonderful. Neroli is like one of my absolute favorite ones. In fact, I've been using this, um, as an additional, uh, element in there. I just skincare. They're just going to change your, as my, um, as my, like a evening routine with my skincare. So I'll just roll this around all of my aging areas, like above the brows, um, under kind of like around the eyes and my laugh lines. And, uh, it is just so relaxing and calming. So it's great for the skin and it's great for your calming Zen. And you're just going to love all the oils bottom line. So Mm -hmm. I hope that you guys will get those and share with us what your favorites are. Um, but also every month doTERRA, in addition to just being super generous normally, um, every month doTERRA gives us that free oil when we do a loyalty rewards order by the 15th of the month. And that oil is our absolute favorite family staple this month, which is On Guard. So On Guard is going to be the protective blend, and it is just a staple for boosting your immunity and keeping yourselves mm-hmm. healthy this season as we transition into you know colder season, the sick season, the flu season. You're probably seeing your Facebook feeds filled with people complaining about how their kids are missing instructional days, and we just don't want any of that. And it's a cannot live without oil. Right. So getting it free is even more cool. Um, And as if that weren't enough, then the 10% off oil this month is ginger. And ginger is such an amazing oil. Um, For all of you that watched my Periscope on Thursday, you know all the reasons that I love ginger. And, um, but first we want Laura to tell us about the most exciting news for our viewers. Oh my gosh, yeah. As if these post-convention kits and getting all the new oils and snagging all of that wasn't enough. (laughs) They kept going. They kept going. They kept going. Why stop? 
be October. They keep saying giving. It's Rocktober. So they have <laughs> Rocktober. Rocktober. With a 200 PV promo this month. This means that for the entire month of October, if you place any $200 oil order that's existing people, if you're already one of our oilers and love doTERRA, or if you're new and you want to jump in and get started, this mm -hmm. is for everybody. The whole month of October, you actually get the large bottles. So the 15 ml bottles of Balance, Citrus Bliss, and Serenity. Lots of free oils free. I have never seen doTERRA do a special like this with never. these oils before nope. ever. Nope. You may remember back in July, we had BOGO week. We also broke the internet back then too. We like to and do that a lot. Was, we really do like to do that. It's our <laughs> <Yeah>. favorite thing. <laughs> Five million wellness advocates come to play for all of these things. And it was balance and serenity that BOGO sold out and broke the internet and mm -hmm. we love these oils and these are three oils that are not included in any starter kit so it's yeah. a great time to take advantage and get started if you're on the fence or stock up and just have these favorites on hand and snag them up and take advantage of this sale it's really really awesome i'll talk a little bit about citrus bliss citrus bliss is the invigorating blend this is the blend that hillary mentioned in her diffuser blend so if you're having low energy or you're feeling exhausted all the time, this is great to diffuse. You can put a drop under your nose or to the back of your neck. And this just really helps to energize you, uplift you. If you're having that mid morning or afternoon slump, mm -hmm. just put a few drops there and diffuse it to help you with that. It can really work great. Stress, low vibes, anxious feelings. You can actually add a few drops to your rinse cycle. I like to do this. It just helps to kind of freshen up your laundry. It also makes an amazing surface cleaner in your home. So I just mix a little bit of water in a glass spray bottle, just spray down surfaces and clean. It smells great. Emotionally, it's that oil of creativity. And it really helps to return motivation and drive and that spark in our life. So that is Citrus Bliss. We love it. Balance is the other one. We keep going, right? So that one free, balance for free. Balance is a grounding blend. It's a great, great oil for anxious feelings. So applying a few drops to the bottoms of your feet or just inhale from the cup hands, inhale right out of the bottle. I personally love to use this oil to help with jet lag when traveling. Mm -hmm. To do that, you can just put a little bit under the nose or again, inhale or use your diffuser jewelry, anything like that to bring a sense of calm when flying to ground you <laughs> when you're up in the air. And this is also a really great oil to help calm overactive kiddos. If they have difficulty settling down, use this oil to help them. And this blend really helps to teach us true perseverance by assisting us in staying in the present with a specific plan or idea. So it's kind of our grit oil, which I like. So it promotes stability, commitment, and feeling grounded. So Andrew, what tell us about how you are loving um, Serenity and the others. Yeah, the other goodies. Absolutely. So before we do, I'm seeing a bunch of really great questions in the comments. Let me just say oh, great. at the end of this, we're going to try and do a Q&A. So if we don't get to your questions, we're not overlooking you. Be sure to, to stay to the end and we'll answer as many questions as we can. So the, the two oils and well, one's an oil and one's kind of a, a new product that I've been loving are Serenity and the on guard sanitizing mist so serenity was one of the first oils that i ever got and i have fallen in love with it ever since um, i use this one all the time to really um, de-stress after work putting it on the bottom of my feet diffusing it uh, making sure that just any of those um, really high high tension emotions that i'm feeling don't carry over to, to home life. Uh, I also for a long time diffused serenity and breathe at night. So breathe to help me uh, help open up and support my airways and serenity to help me um, drop into a nice deep sleep. So something that a lot of people don't know about me is that I am pretty um, careful about keeping my hands clean. I don't like my hands to be dirty. So this new on guard sanitizing mist has been amazing. And because of the research and everything that has been put into this product, they were able to add this little word 
to it. Yes. Antiseptic. Antiseptic. So, <laughs> this is incredible. On guard by itself, <laughs> the, we say <laughs> it smells like Christmas and cleans like bleach. Now we have the antiseptic cleaner to go with it on our hands. So if you don't have this one, it comes in the convention kit. You'll grab it and you'll be um, in love with it for the rest of your life. So, Hillary, uh, you were you talked a lot about ginger in your last Periscope. Tell us about yes. some of your favorite ways to use ginger. Absolutely. So ginger is the oil of empowerment and it supports feeling of commitment and capable, purposeful and accountable action from an emotional level. And beyond that, it just tastes incredible. It has tons of digestive support properties. If you are pregnant, if you are experiencing any motion sickness or travel sickness, uh, it is just a favorite perfume of mine. I actually love blending it with lime. So uh, it also tastes amazing swirled in a cup of tea. If you um, and it, it can be a little spicy. So if you're not familiar with it and you don't want to go full on full tilt ginger, you can do the toothpick swirl method where you just mm -hmm. dip a toothpick inside the bottle um, and, or you can just tip it in the reducer and then you just swirl it in your cup of tea or in whatever you're drinking. And it gives it that hint of ginger without it being overpowering. And um, I love to use it in my fall baking. And Thursday's Periscope, I was using ginger in both my pumpkin butter and my chewy ginger molasses crinkle cookies. And my house has never smelled more amazing. Um, <laughs> my neighbors have never been happier because Olivia and I were skipping around the neighborhood on Saturday morning, delivering plates of cookies and jars of pumpkin butter to all the neighbors. and they were like, we're really glad we're neighbors. Thanks. Man, and I'm like, we need I'm to move up there. <laughs> I know. Come, won't you be my neighbor, folks? Come on down. I'll feed you with all the extras that are made from the amazing test kitchen. Um, but they're just so good. And the moral of the story here is if you've been, if you've had friends that have been wanting to get started on their oil journey, or you've been following us and want to take advantage of any of these awesome promotions and free oil, just send us a message on Facebook and we'll get you all set up. Mm -hmm. These oils are incredible. Like I said, you're going to save $127 and 50 cents by getting all the convention oils together. Mm -hmm. um, you can also get ginger for 10% off, which is just so cool. I mean, doTERRA is just so generous as if it weren't enough that we get 10 to 30% back on all of our purchases as if it weren't enough that we get all of our shipping rewards back to get free oil the next month. But then they bless us with a free oil. They bless us with a 10% off oil. And then this month, the oils that Laura mentioned. So, I mean, it's just, it's a really great time in doTERRA land. It really is. Christmas has come early and I, I've been in doTERRA since 2014. I've absolutely never seen them do anything this generous. So I'm super pumped for everyone. And I can't wait to see um, all that you do with your ginger and your on guard and your balance and citrus bliss and serenity and, neroli and your skin's going to glow and look amazing and all the incredible benefits you're going to enjoy from all the oils that you're getting this month. I can't wait. Absolutely. So for our next segment, we're going to switch gears a little bit. Uh, many of our new, new oilers think that this is just a journey about uh, essential oils and remedies and keeping our bodies healthy, but little do they know there's another really huge element to the wellness pyramid that can actually help you in all areas of healing. Uh, like we always say, leaders are readers. So let's go around and share what we're reading. Laura, let, let's let you kick off. Yeah, Andrew, you couldn't be more right. No matter where you are in life or how old you are, you never want to stop reading and learning and mm -hmm. being curious and working towards increasing yourself and your personal development. And this means your awareness inside and out. I will confess, I'm one of those interesting people that sometimes listens to more than one audiobook at a time. I know it's strange. Hmm. Anybody else out there that does that? A lot of people say they get cookies, I but I like to do that. <laughs> That's <laughs> Multitasker. <me. laughs> <laughs> well, let me know. You'll have to let me know if you're a little interesting like me, but I am currently seeing currently listening to two audiobooks. I love Audible. So one is Emotional Vampires by yes. Albert Bernstein, which is really great. Hillary and I have been kind of on this kick about talking about healthy boundaries and how healthy boundaries are the new black. And really, right, we can't pour from an empty <laughs> cup. We have to take care of ourselves. I just did a talk on self-care last week, and it's so, so essential. And I'm loving this book. Great tips great, great tips. And then also I'm listening to Leaders Eat Last. And this is by Simon 
Cynic. And both are really great books. And, you know, with the emotional vampires, it's, it's all about not getting sucked into other people's drama. Again, we're a good vibe only tribe here. And learning to create a healthy emotional environment is really, really important, I think, for our own mental health, but also our physical, because they all run together. And Leaders Eat Last, it's a really interesting book about growing a really positive team environment and inspiring others and stepping up as those leaders and being the inspiration for other people. So I have really enjoyed both of those so, so much. Hillary, what about you? What are you currently listening to? Absolutely. So I have been devouring audiobooks on audible.com lately in the evenings and on my days off as I spend time cleaning and folding laundry and, you know, the glamorous life of a mama bear, right? I, what are you going to do, right? But since I work from home, um, I don't have a commute to use as my audiobook time, but I love being able to feed my soul while I'm doing those household tasks. And recently I just finished the book called The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks, and I cannot recommend this book enough. And so many people on my oil squad have have been reading this book and just loving sharing their experiences and their thoughts. And it's very thought provoking. And The Big Leap, if you are not familiar with it, is all about discovering your zone of genius, hmm. figuring out what you love to do, why you love to do it, how doing that makes you feel, and working hard to do that as much as possible. And so the idea is being in your zone of genius as much as you can because it makes you feel great. And then a perfect segue to that is the book that I started reading after that. And now I'm halfway through Danielle Laporte's The Desire Map. And it's a similar concept, but she actually walks you through the exercise of vision boarding and desire mapping to help you break down those certain belief barriers about goal setting and how to make it more approachable and less just like a social construct of working on my goals or I want to achieve this goal by this time. You know, like people will say, okay, what are your goals? And we talk about that as well all the time when we're doing one-on-ones mm -hmm. with our new Oilers, you know, what are your health goals? What are the challenges and the things that you really want to work on right now? But Danielle walks us through understanding that a goal isn't really about the actual completion of a task or a thing, but it's rather seeking that feeling. And so the way that we imagine or visualize or desire to feel when we reach a particular goal or milestone. And it's been an incredible read, and I highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, I love using audible.com because it works right through Amazon Prime. It's really a smooth operation when you want to download books and then they upload right to your audible.com uh, reading list and you know they download and then you can listen to them. If you're on a plane, you don't need to have Wi-Fi for it. You can listen to it in the car, when you're folding laundry, whatever. Um, and uh, I just, I love it. And I, I really hope you will take some of these book suggestions down and add them to your list because um, it's really important to always be increasing yourself and working. Um, now, Beth is asking in the recap, can we please list all the titles and authors so we can see the names? Absolutely, Beth. A hundred percent. We would love to share that with you. And, oh, um, and Catherine and Karen are saying that they oh, yes. have more than one book going. So I'm not the only one. Thanks girls. <laughs> now, what I also love too about audible.com is that you can share a book with someone um, as long as you've never shared it with them before. So like books that Dr. Laura and I are reading and Andrew, we can send it to each other from the audible.com app. So I can say, send this to Dr. Laura or send this to Andrew for free. And that's really nice because you yeah. can share books among a peer group. So, you know, you might want to start a book club with friends or just, you know, whatever, but it's a great, great opportunity for you to expand your own self. And, um, it has the same perks of Amazon. Like when you buy something and it says, Oh, people that bought this, bought this, this, and this too. And so it kind of helps you, um, stay in that realm of the books that you might be reading. It'll help you find other books that are similar, or you can always reach out to us for book suggestions as well. And we can help guide you in the right direction. So Andrew, what are you reading these days? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a little more old fashioned. I do use audible, but I definitely prefer, paper books. I like to highlight and notate on them. So I, it, it's hard to do that on Audible, unfortunately. Yeah. But I've been reading through um, a bunch of uh, tech certification books. So part of um, my um, growth has been to um, become more equipped in this area that I've been uh, blessed in. So I'm trying to uh, just bless those around us to be able to do podcasts like this and 
um, be able to get more information out there. So um, the, the certifications are going to help me along that. And that kind of leads us into our next segment. So we have so many resources on, uh, on hand with us. So I'm going to go through a couple of them. Mine are all going to be apps, and I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And then it's going to get fancy up in it's here. Getting Andrew's so taking us fancy. on a fancy technological journey <laughs> through time and space. <laughs> yes. So the I'm going to be sharing my phone screen with you guys. And we, um, this is an iPhone, so it'll look a little bit different if you have an Android phone, but it, all, the apps are more or less the same from my understanding. So here we go. We yes, have a, and, a- And Beth, you're absolutely right. I was just gonna jump yes, in real Beth. quick. Thank you, Andrew. He's giving you some love. So let's oh, give Andrew lots of love. We bow to and your greatness. And like, cause you are hundred percent right, Beth. Without Andrew, these podcasts wouldn't even be possible. <laughs> yes. So we yes. are Thank so appreciative. So much. <laughs> absolutely. And I think I actually jumped ahead, but but we're gonna, we're gonna wing it and have some fun. So yeah. some of my- favorite yes. reference apps and i love these because everyone carries their phone on them already as it is so this lets you be able to have them on you no matter where you are so the first one we're going to start with is the modern essentials app so uh this pairs with the modern essentials book um, which is actually my preference over the essential life personally mm -hmm. but they're both absolutely fantastic so just quickly, you can uh, at that bottom on the bottom, you can go into single oils and scroll through all of them. You can go into your blends, and these are the generic names, but you can go in and change them. Um, and later on, maybe one day, we'll uh, go through them and kind of talk about how to do that. But this Andrew is so fancy. You are so fancy. <laughs> I love this. So cool. <laughs> so this is Modern Essentials. And as we all know, there are definite emotional aspects of each oil. So we have Essential Emotions Reference app. So you have the emotion that you're feeling or maybe that you want to uh, uh, start feeling that you can click, that you can select. You can look at which what each oil does and scroll through it. And there's even uh, a body area to talk about each section of the body. All right, our last one, and there's more of them, but we're just gonna go over three today, is doTERRA's Daily Drop app. And I actually had this one open already. So let's go home. So this has a bunch of areas that you can look at different area uh, topics, and then you can go into even more topics. So this is, these are all great apps to support ourselves as we're going through this different journey as well. So we do have an abundant of, abundance of resources and response from people about these. So let's talk more. Laura, what are some of the, the things you wanna talk about? Yeah, thanks so much, Andrew. And that was so cool. I feel like we're taking our I podcast know, so to a whole mean. new level, right? Whole new plateau. <laughs> we just want to cover you guys in gratitude. We are so grateful for mm -hmm. each and every one of you for being here, for being a part of our tribe. So we much. hope Absolutely. That you are enjoying these monthly podcasts and the information that we take time and energy to share with you because we're so passionate about sharing and educating people. If you're brand new, if you've never heard of doTERRA or essential oils, reach out to us. We would love to help you and support you on your essential oil journey. If you are currently a part of the doTERRA family, we welcome you. And we mm -hmm. always really recommend as well to reach out to the person who helped to get you started with essential oils for support and education and mentoring. We really don't want to step on anyone's toes with that. We really wish that we could help every single person that mm -hmm. comes to us with their questions or concerns. Yes. But again, we have to practice what we preach and set healthy boundaries as well so that we can really be there to support our teams, our oils family, and those that really have trusted and invested in us to support them with their oils journey. Mm -hmm. So something that I am really personally passionate about is grit. 
And I feel like it is so important for us to learn how to develop that grit, how to get resourceful, how to learn to problem solve. And I heard a really great quote. I'm not sure who said this, but that it isn't a lack of resources that holds us back. It's a lack of resourcefulness. Mm -hmm. So I want us to just all take that in for a moment. We really want to encourage each and every one of you to be resourceful. Because really, when you think about it, God forbid something happens to any of us. We don't want you to stop using your oils. We want you to be empowered and know how to use your oils. And, And that really comes with getting gritty. So that's what we're talking about. Andrew just showed you some great digital resources and things that can be helpful. doTERRA provides us with so much free education. And I will just say, I'm the first to admit I'm not an expert in essential oils. Mm-mm. We know resources to go to to use those. So if mm-hmm. you're thinking, oh man, what would Dr. Laura do? Or, or what would Hillary the Mama Bear do? Or Andrew the Tech Guy? We have the exact same resources available at our fingertips as you guys do. Mm-hmm. So we encourage you. I'm going to give you some helpful links and things. We're going to go to these. Hillary's going to cover the books. But don't forget Google, guys. Don't forget just hopping on and being gritty and resourceful. And you actually learn more when you take the time to look those things up. Mm -hmm. So doTERRA provides us with so much great free education. They have free eBooks and we're going to put links to all of this guys. So don't worry, we'll give you the links too, but you could get gritty and Google it and find it as well. So (laughs) (laughs) to go on that lesson of grit, right? So doTERRA has free eBooks and we'll put a link there. doTERRA has a science blog, which is amazing. If you're like me and like to geek out, check out their science blog. If you have not heard of doTERRA's empowered life series, It's incredible. Google doTERRA Empowered Life Series. And doTERRA has teamed up with experts that have created some amazing trainings for us from everything from fitness to weight loss to women's health and hormone support, immune support, pregnancy, so much men's health. You can find all of these replays and they are incredible. doTERRA also has doTERRA University. It is amazing. They have Living doTERRA, which you can use just to learn more about using the essential oils. There's the doTERRA blog. There's just so many free educational resources here to support you as you learn about the oils. And like I said, we'll we'll put posts and, and links to this as well. And I also want to pass the baton to Hillary so that she can share with you guys our favorite books and resources as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you so much, Laura. So, and I agree with Laura. And also, if you uh, make sure that you also follow us um, on our Facebook page, of course, in case maybe someone mm-hmm. else shared this uh, this event with you. But be sure that you're following there. And there are also lots of great public groups online that are cross line so that for people in all different groups, you can come together and get information. And you can always, always reach out to whoever brought you to doTERRA. And if you are not in contact with them anymore, or if they're not doing the business anymore, um, you can go in your back office, click on upline listing, and you will be able to copy and paste all the emails. And I encourage you to do that. Copy Mm -hmm. and paste all the email addresses and reach out to your leadership team. If you don't know them, if you've never heard of them, I guarantee you they are watching your ordering habits. They know when you're ordering your LRP every month, they know Mm -hmm. what's going on. So they know that you're active and you're using your oils and they want to support you. So um, even if you don't know them, reach out and email them and just say, hey, can we schedule a 30 minute session either over Facebook video chat, over Zoom. These are free resources over Skype or FaceTime, or just pick up the phone and ask if you can ask them some questions about using your oils or about sharing your oils. And it is their role as leaders to provide that support to you if they are in your upline listing. So don't mm-hmm. be shy to do that. And Beth is saying thank you to all the for the all the time and energy that you put into these podcasts and your websites. You're making such a difference in so many lives. Beth, thank you. And thank you guys yes, so much. We you. really appreciate it. Okay, and this is okay. just a, a great big family. And so we want to support you just mm-hmm. like your family, your yeah. kids and your, your aunts and uncles and cousins. You support each other and help each other. And that means guiding you in the right direction, but not doing the work for you. Because the, you know, the whole idea of using oils is having better options and better choices. And so that means being empowered to know what those choices are and where to find information that you need to use your oils better. So this is the Modern Essentials Diet, and this is great. It's a little bit more, um, it's more of a reference 
than um, like recipes and stuff. Like I don't think there are recipes in here. It's just usage information. Yeah. Um, it's really very clinical. It's very clinical. Thank yeah. you. And then on the back page, it actually has this whole grid and that it goes into um, the essential oil blends and individual oils and their common uses. So it's really nice. Um, and that's just on the very back page of this. This is the eighth edition, but whatever edition that you have is great too. Mm -hmm. The other is the Essential Life book, which was is one of my personal favorites. And everyone that gets started on my oil squad gets this book because I just, it, I talk about it all the time. I love it. In addition to all the great information and pages individually about each oil, you might not have known, but at the very bottom of each of the individual oil pages, there are links here that show you clinical research, anecdotal data and references to citations of the research that was done on that particular oil. So it's really great. There's also sections on recipes and cooking and using oils for cleaning and eliminating um, toxins from your home. So it's just really fun and they're glossy photos. It's a lot more user friendly um, mm -hmm. than the Modern Essentials book, which just yeah. like Dr. Laura said, is a little bit more clinical. Yeah. Um, so Deanna's saying she loves this book. Fatima's saying, thank you for sharing your knowledge. Jen is saying Google is her BFF. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, Google. <laughs> yes. And then also whatever team page. So if you are, if whoever got you started with doTERRA is doing a private team page for you, you should always go there as well first. And you can go to the keyword search feature in that private Facebook group and you can type in any keyword, frankincense, uh, bruising, uh, copaiba, you know, lemon, anything. And you'll be able to see all the past posts in your oil team page uh, about that particular oil or about that particular thing. So it's really important for you to get gritty. And that just means using your resources first and foremost. Before you ask a question to maybe your leader or someone else, ask yourself the question, where would I look for that information? Where can I find that information and see what you can find on your own? Yeah. Um, the next one that I love is the emotions and essential oils guide. And when we talk about oils from an emotional perspective, we're using this book directly for that data. So, you know, for example, lavender, lavender is the oil of communication and calm. Okay. And so this page will tell you the negative emotions that it, um, that you might be feeling and then the positive properties of using this particular oil will help support you. So for example, using lavender, will assist you with blocked communication, fear of rejection, racing thoughts, fear of self-disclosure and being unloved. And then um, using this oil will help support you feeling open in your communication, calm, expressive, self-aware and having peace of mind. So this book is fantastic. This is the uh, sixth edition. You can get this also digitally on Amazon. I believe you can also get it on oillife.com or Aroma Tools if you want the hard copy. And I love digital resources as well. Priscilla, mm -hmm. you definitely need this in your life. Jen, you definitely want this. Danielle, all of you. All the things, everyone, you need this book. Um, it's available okay. digital, but I really love having the hard copy. Mm -hmm. And again, I love listening to audiobooks, but I love having them on Kindle. I can highlight things. The same thing about having a book in hand. And it's pretty pocket size. I mean, this is the size of my hand. You know, it's not too large. Um, the next one is the uh, I Am Fabulous book, which highlights a lot of the blends that I made in the past. I just love that book. Um, it is such a great resource as well. Another is the essential oils for, yeah, Laura's got the I Am Fabulous book. Um, another is the essential oils for pregnancy, birth, and babies. So if you are watching this and you are either planning to be pregnant in the near future or in the distant future, um, or you are pregnant, or you just had a baby, or you have oilers that are planning on being in any of those two buckets, I highly recommend getting this book. This is also available on Amazon. It's also available digitally. It's also available um, I believe on Audible, but this is a reference book. So this you really want either in like a Kindle version where you can highlight mm -hmm. things or like the paper copy. Um, but this goes trimester by trimester. And if you are in one of those two buckets where either you have oilers that this applies to or you uh, can resonate with this, 
I encourage you to catch up on my eight week pregnancy, birth and baby series using essential oils. And it's all on YouTube. It's all on Periscope that I did in the spring. Uh, so it's great because I go into pretty much covering the entire book over those eight weeks and each of the trimesters yeah. before you get pregnant, after your baby's here and supporting you through that journey using essential oils safely. And I wish when I was pregnant with Olivia that I had this. And so I'm really grateful to share this. Um, and any of my new oilers, you know, they just really appreciate having this as a reference guide because it can be a very scary time. And Danielle's saying that um, this book has been her prego Bible and it's really great. And Beth says she wants this on her Christmas list, the uh, Emotions and Essential Oils book. And yeah, you guys are just going to love these resources because you want to have a toolkit, just like we've got all of our oils in our box mm -hmm. and we reach in there for everything we need. We want to have the same tools as resources that we can just open up our book and feel empowered. And wow, I didn't know that oil did that. I'm going to try it. And it's mm -hmm. an amazing feeling. Also, another one I want to share with you that's fairly new is the Essential Oil, uh, the Essential Life Basics. And this is also a little pocket handy guide, similar to the size of the Emotions book. And this is more of a reference guide, more of a clinical guide. It does not have uh, recipes in here, but it does have um, some great information that is a little bit more abbreviated about each oil. So it has, you know, about a half a page on each oil and it's great for you for on the go. If you're teaching classes and you want to share this, it's great. And then you can keep your big behemoth 500 word beast, uh, mm -hmm. you know, 500 page, page beast one uh, on your desk or in your, um, in your library. And then another one that I want to share as well is the doTERRA blog book. These are limited edition. This one I got from convention. It's not available now. I'm praying to the doTERRA gods. If they're listening, please hear our prayer. Um, I'm really <laughs> hoping that when they bring some of the items from convention into the back office as limited time items, I'm really hoping that this will make it in there. And as you can see by my colorful flags, <laughs> mama's got a lot of crafts to share on Periscope. Um, I have a lot of inspiration at my fingertips, but anytime doTERRA does a blog book, get it get two one for you one to share um they're fantastic and they always go really quick mm -hmm. and they have yeah. practical uses like recipes and really fun things like all-purpose cleaner this is one of my favorites of all time um just all-purpose cleaner deep. and how to eliminate that toxic load and have confidence in doing so and then the last one is the pit binder and this might seem so basic but this is available again in the back office so if you don't have one i highly recommend it it has all the new oils in it mm -hmm. and this is the product information pages so just like we used copaiba tonight if you wanted to know well why did dr laura and hillary and andrew use copaiba under their tongue tonight you can look at your pit binder and see all the amazing properties of copaiba and it has all of the doTERRA products in here so instead of having to go online you can just flip into your binder if you're just curious and want some information really quickly so yeah um, and there's just lots of resources yeah absolutely and all of those pip the it stands for product information pages all those are online you can get them for free this is just a yeah. really nice way to have it all nice and together and in, in, in good quality paper that's um, like easy to reference. So, mm -hmm. uh, just also know that this is also a free resource that's online. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And so, so many resources at your fingertips, right? We just covered smartphone apps and books and doTERRA's education that they provided us, the education that we provide to you guys on these podcasts. You can follow Hillary and I on Instagram. We post educational things about the oils regularly in our Instagram stories and in our Instagram posts at Hillary's got her weekly periscopes, all of those things. If you still would like individualized support, we can help you. I have a virtual health coaching practice. I see virtual clients and you can get all the information about my practice fees services on my website. It's Laura Ritchie .com. Hillary and I, and you guys may not know this, but we are actually cross line sisters. We are not, on each other's teams anywhere. We are mm -hmm. completely separate, <laughs> Crossline Sisters here. But we do offer essential oil business consultation services, and we can discuss individual essential oil education, leadership, business mentoring. Send us a message on the Two Curls on Oil Facebook page to get scheduled for that. It's 175 an hour for a session, and we would be happy to help you that way as well. So, so many free things at your fingertips, but if you want that one-on-one -on -one individualized support, we have options for you too with that, that you guys can reach out to us and get support. 
And also Karen was asking in the comments, um, is the PIP binder available to anyone? Yes, the PIP binder is available to anyone. It's in your back office under limited edition items. So go check it out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Hillary, what are we giving away this month for our Two Curls on Oil giveaway? Thank you for asking. Sharing is always caring. And this month's giveaway is a set of these beautiful stainless steel Simply Shelf essential oil storage racks mm -hmm. and they're beautiful and we love them Voila! <laughs> and they come in a set of three which is really fun so um they hold one two three four five oils each and um they hold 15 milliliter bottles or five milliliter bottles so as you can see here this is cinnamon bark this is a 15 milliliter bottle and this is That's our pretty. on guard 15 milliliter five milliliter five uh 15 milliliter so they're really cute and they're gorgeous for your decor mm -hmm. and um, they're expandable so mm -hmm. if you wanted to do a display they're also great for your drawers in your um, kitchen or anything so these are really fun and pretty and shiny Voila. so so, um, and Dr. Nora, Dr. Laura and I love these for events or classes or demos. They're just super versatile. They also hold rollers as well. Let me show you my Neroli. So they hold your rollers yeah. as well. So they're really pretty and I have them all over my home. I have them in my office. Um, I took this one out from my shelf, but I love having this them. This is what Mark has on his desk too. Oh yeah. At his office when he's using. Yeah. Yeah. They're really fun. Perfect. Now, Laura, how do folks enter to win this month's giveaway? That is a great question. All you need to do to enter is post a learning comment below and a winner will be selected about 15 minutes after our live podcast ends. And we're going to use a random randomizer app and select a winner. So just post something you learned, something you enjoyed, something you found informative, anything you want to share about your oil journey as it relates to something that we mentioned in tonight's podcast. All right. So we all have a few announcements before we close. Hillary, how about you start us off? Sure, thanks, Andrew. So just a friendly reminder, I'm hosting an AromaTouch certification class at my home in Northern Virginia on November 4th. And space is limited. We have about 15 or 20 spots left. So just message me if you are in the local DC, Metro, Virginia, Maryland area, and you wanna take the class. It'll be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you'll need to pre-register with the Eventbrite link that I can provide you. So um, the cost is $150 and it includes our instructors, six hours of instructional time. She is a certified aroma uh, aroma touch certified trainer from dr hill which is really exciting so mm -hmm. i'm really thrilled to have her um, at my home to teach you it's also going to include a complete eight oil aroma touch kit and all of the rest the reference materials and um, i've also got my weekly throw it out thursday night periscopes that are just continuing essential oil education they're at 8 30 p.m eastern every week um, but you can always catch the replay if you miss anything you can simply download the periscope app on your smartphone or you can watch from Periscope TV on your computer. Um, you can also watch anything that you might have missed on my YouTube archive. So just be sure that you're subscribed there as well. All you need to do is just keyword search my name. And uh, I can't wait to watch you kick chemicals to the curb one Thursday at a time. Yeah, and Laura, what are you up to? Oh, thanks, Hillary. So I am teaching an AMP Ear Adrenals class on October 20th at 11 a.m. Central Time. And it's gonna be all about supporting adrenal fatigue, adrenal insufficiency, helping you get your energy and your mojo back. And the replay will be up until November 11th. So you can watch whenever is most convenient for you. And you also wanna stay tuned for more health and self-care tips on my coaching page. It's facebook.com backslash Dr. Laura Ritchie. Feel free again to follow me on Instagram at Dr. Laura Ritchie. You can follow me on YouTube by searching my name there. And if anybody again is interested in virtual private health coaching services, please check out my website, laurarichie.vpweb.com. What about you, Andrew? Yeah, so I am launching a weekly Facebook Live on Tuesday nights starting uh, next week where we will be talking through a few different classes. And then every uh, Friday morning, I will be doing a 10 to 15 minute Facebook Live walking through each of our amazing oils. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of these live classes, be sure to go to my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash AEOils. All right, guys, so we have a few extra minutes. So let's open up the floor to any questions or uh, anything that you would like us to expand on. 
I know uh, one thing that I wanted to touch on, uh, and I let me look through the comments, but questions about taking our oils internally. Uh, so someone had said, let me see if I can find them. They were new to doTERRA and they were, they were told not to take the oils internally because they're so concentrated. Um, what do you, Hillary and Laura, how would you guys expand on that? Um, yeah. Laura, do you want to handle that one? Sure, absolutely. So we started this podcast taking oils internally. Mm -hmm. yes. Really, that Laura, is how, how would you I guys do expand on everyday that? life. Now, I will say it's um, very, very important yeah. Laura, to distinguish the one? purity and the quality of the oil that you're using. So I felt comfortable doing that with doTERRA. Mm -hmm. I personally would not do that with any other essential oil. And doTERRA actually kind of lets us know. So as an example, Hillary cooked some cookies using ginger. So you can actually look on the bottle of oil and on the bottle, it will actually show you a supplements fact, just like you'll see on any food package. So similar to that, that lets you know that it is an oil that's okay for internal use. As an example, that was on ginger. If you look at the bottle of balance here, there's no supplement facts on there. So that would be one to just enjoy more topically, uh, not necessarily internally. The oils are very concentrated, so they're about 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs. And that's why if you were going to cook with oils, one drop is plenty, or like Hillary mentioned, doing the toothpick swirl, where you just stick that toothpick in the orifice reducer and do little figure eights. But again, it's a controversial thing. If you Google that, like we talked about getting gritty, you will notice that you're going to get a lot of different mm -hmm. opinions and things. I will say doTERRA does have some very interesting research and things on their science blog about the internal use of oils. It was at convention, I believe it was last year's convention that the medical panel was asked about taking essential oils internally and everybody stood up and cheered and took, <laughs> took the oils internally and all felt safe doing so. Again, it's a personal decision. I always tell my private health coaching clients, if you do not have peace about something, don't do it. For me personally, with a lot of the different health challenges and struggles that I've had, um, you guys know a little bit about that, but I have noticed a huge difference in how I feel since taking the oils internally. Again, with a very pure, safe brand like doTERRA, I would mm -hmm. not do this with any essential oil from the health food store or you know, a lot of those are adulterated. They're not the same, but I trust the quality and purity of doTERRA oils. We mm -hmm. did, Hillary and I did a campus tour together. We saw mm -hmm. how the oils were made and I just feel very, very comfortable doing that. But again, personal decision, but I cook with the oils, use them internally every day. Um, so does my family. Mm -hmm. So any, anything you have to add guys? Yeah. So one of the things that I kind of struggled with um, when I was starting with doTERRA was, so these oils that aren't labeled with the supplement facts, why are they not recommended for internal use? So I actually contacted doTERRA and asked them, like, why aren't these rated for internal use? And their response was um, really like enlightening because they said those oils that aren't labeled for internal use are actually, um, the, you're just not going to get the same benefits if you take them internally. So they're mm. still ta safe to mm -hmm. take internally. You, you just won't see the benefits as opposed to if you put them, uh, if you use them topically or aromatically. So, um, like once again, we see the heart of doTERRA there. They're like, yeah, they're safe yeah. to use them internally, but they don't want us to waste the oils by using them internally and not getting the same benefits. Save so, your pennies. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So are, I'm not seeing any other questions. Are, are you guys? No, I think, no, I think that's a wrap. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. That, should we give it a few more minutes to see if anybody has something just to pop in? We've got a few. Now is the time, guys. Now yes. is the time. <laughs> well, and keep in mind, you can always ask questions in the comment thread because this will stay Absolutely. up on our on our uh, Two Curls on Oil page. And so you can always go back and watch the replay if there's anything you missed. So you can always ask your questions or you can just send them privately to us and we're happy to answer them then. But um, yeah, 
Thank you guys so much for joining us. This is really fun. We love doing this. Thank you again to Andrew for facilitating this so that we can see yes. you, you can see Thank us, uh, we can see your comments and engagement and, and make this be a more interactive experience for you because it's really fun for us to share in this way and come together from different oil teams to provide you this awesome uh, experience of sharing this joy with us. So thank you guys so much for spending your Sunday with us. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. So guys, I think that's a wrap on our latest installment of the Two Curls on Oil podcast. For more information, please send us a message on Facebook, keywords Two Curls on Oil, and be sure to um, post your learning comments in the podcast thread for an entry into our giveaway. We'll see you guys next month and uh, throughout on our page. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Alrighty, and we are off. That was really good. That was. Yay! I was 